The title is. Thin folks should also be invested in dismantling fatphobia for this very reason. Find the reason. Someone recently commented asking if I could wake up tomorrow and be 150 pounds lighter healthily, would I? And my answer to that is no. Bullshit. And that's because fat phobia as a system of oppression controls all people of all sizes. Because thinness under fat phobia doesn't really have a physical look. Meaning that no matter how thin you get, you're never really going to like satisfy the beast that is fat phobia. That's why you'll see even the thinnest people get called fat as an insult, even though it's like the farthest thing from the truth. Because while only some of us may be fat, a fear of fatness is forever. The fear of fatness is what unites us. And it's what controls us. And it's what I'm trying to break us all free from. Because being fat is not something to be afraid of. And that fear of fatness will only exist as long as systemic fat phobia exists. As long as it is harder to exist as a fat person because you don't have access to the same things that thin people do. But why do you want all people to be fat? That way you would feel better? Why wish fatness to someone? What's your angle? Statistically, over 90% of people who intentionally lose weight gain it back over 5 to 10 years. If you would be responsible and disciplined, you would not gain weight again. You don't have access to medical care. You do get paid less. You are not treated equitably. You are treated like literally shit all the time. But that's not because being fat is inherently bad. It's because of fat phobia. And if we would just all work together to dismantle it, we'd all be free from this like controlling hand that lives above all of us. And if I woke up tomorrow 150 pounds later, I'd still be living under this hand that's like controlling me. So I guess my real answer is... I, I don't care. I don't care. If I woke up tomorrow, 150 pounds later, uh, nothing would change for me personally. Nothing would change as far as how I live my life, how I operate, the things that I care about. Because at the end of the day, 150 pounds later, I'd still be a fat bitch. Lol, I'm so sorry you don't have the ability to use Google. Fat people do everything thin people can. Lizzo? Hell, we have fat Olympic medalists. If fatness isn't bad, how is it good? What is your take on the opinion that the fatter you are the worse your mobility is? That's just not true across the board. Thin people can have arthritis, fat people can be dancers, runners, athletes. What do you think allows one to identify as fat? I recommend reading your fat friend's Medium article who's fat enough to be fat. You mean you don't know? And yeah. you think that you're not eating and you're getting I don't want to get malnourished either. Do you look like you're malnourished? We need to invest the Savage Awards. I think that it's really scary for thin people to realize that you can do everything right and still be fat. You can go to your PE classes. You can do sports, you can eat right, you can, I don't know, you can do all the things and still be a fat person as an adult or as a kid. Or just try harder, that's what my dad says to me. I'm so sorry that's how your parents treat you. You deserve so much more care and compassion than that. Bodies are like really, really complex and I think especially for teenagers like this person it's really easy to assume that your experience with your body is the rule and the reality is that there is no rule you might be able to control your weight 100 when you are 15 16 17 18 um but there's gonna come a time when you might be doing all the same things and you're going to gain weight. You're going to maybe become fat and you're going to blame yourself because... Who else will be there to blame? Oh, forgot, the government.
Why are you in my comments blaming the individual when it is so clearly the fault of our government? You held this mentality, right? And you blamed other fat people for their sizes. And you're either going to then start to hate yourself or you're going to realize that you were wrong for all those years that you thought that it was every fat person's fault that they were fat. But even when you put all the disorders that cause fatness aside, right, lipedema, dercums, thyroid issues, PCOS, put all those aside, people's bodies still change. You still grow. You still get bigger as you age because your body needs to protect itself. Protect itself from what? You get bigger because your body protects itself? Dog, what you protecting from? A nuke? You still grow. You still get bigger as you age because your body needs to protect itself. And that's what it does. So no, I didn't miss every single PE class. Uh, I've just always been fat. So that's it. So if a fat guy starved, he's going to stay fat? You do not just create matter. Expend more calories than you intake. That's it. Stop making excuses. Fat people tend to do this all the time. And I thought, I was delusional. Bud will throw out every excuse to not go to the gym. Where are the fat famine survivors? This is a very common misconception about lipedema and is only brought up when people are intending to be fat phobic. So let's actually dig into why you're wrong. In the earlier stages of lipedema, you are correct. It primarily impacts the legs and sometimes the arms. But once you get into the later stages like stage four, which is what I have, it can also impact the fupa, the lower abdomen, and even breast tissue. It's brought up in this way to fat shame people who are fat and have lipedema. The thing is, I don't care why I'm fat and neither should you. Of course I'm fat, I'm fat and I have lipedema. It doesn't really matter the reason why I'm fat because I'm still fat, right? What are the differences in early stages between normal fatness and this? I've been vaguely suspect, but I'm not sure what the differences are. Because I'm still fat, right? The lipedema and lymphedema labels do not exist to excuse my fatness. They exist so that I can get the medical care I need. My lipolymphedema may be a cause of some of my fatness. Obviously it is, but my fatness does not need an excuse. Nobody's fatness needs to be excused by a medical condition. It should not matter why a person is fat because fat people, regardless of why they are fat, deserve rights, healthcare, safety, access, all these things. And if you think that me being fat is okay because I have lipedema, you're part of the problem because it was always okay that I was fat. What's not okay is your ongoing abuse of fat people. Hope that helps. How do you know you got it and you're not just fat like me? It sucks that treatment isn't covered. I'm in Canada, maybe it is where you live. Because of fat phobia, I'm at stage 2 for now.